Good morning, dear children. Let's start our new chapter, Formatting a Presentation. Do you know what is formatting? Formatting means changing the appearance of the text. A PowerPoint presentation can be formatted by changing the font style, font size, colors, alignment and by applying other features. So, first let's discuss about how to use the Slide Master. Slide Master is the guiding slide in a presentation that can store the information on font, color, effects, backgrounds, placeholder sizes and also positioning. Any changes made to the slide master are applied to all the slides of the presentation. So now let's check how we can insert slide master. For getting the slide master, first we have to click on the view tab. Okay, the last one is view tab and there we have to click on the slide master option on the slide master views group here this is the slide master option just click on this option after that we can insert something on the slide master here this is the slide master you can see lot of slides are there so let's check how we can insert something on the slide master so we have to click on the insert tab and lot of options are here among these we can click on the text box and we can click and drag to draw a text box on the slide master and we can type a text here. Okay, now I have typed the example. Then we can click on the slide master tab and we can close the slide master view to return to the slideshow. Okay, so this is the text we have typed here. Now let's again click on the slide master and close the slide master. Okay, so it is possible to view the slide master and also we can close the slide master for returning to the slideshow. Once we return to the slideshow, whatever we have typed on the slide master that we can see on the slide here also. So that I told you whatever changes we are making in the slide master that will appear on all other slides. Okay, do you know how to create a new custom layout? The slide master also help to create different layout for the slides. Okay, so by using the new slides option, we can insert various slides in our presentation. And also next to that, we can see one option called layout. Okay, when we click on this layout, lot of different layouts for our slides will be available. First of all, let's click on the view tab for getting the slide master view. Then we can click on the slide master option from the master views group. And here we can see insert layout option. We can just click on the insert layout option for inserting a new layout. Here you can see we have inserted a new layout for our slide master. After that we can click on the insert placeholder drop down arrow to open a list of data that can be added to the presentation. Okay, so this is the insert placeholder. One arrow is here. When we click on this arrow, we can see a list of data which can be added to the presentation. Let's check what are the data available here. The first one is content. The content placeholder we can use it to create a place for holding all type of data and list. The second one is text. It can be used to create a simple text box in our slide. And third one, picture. We can insert various pictures by using this placeholder. And the chart placeholder can be used to create various graphs and also charts. The next one is called table. The table can be created to place for interesting tables in our slide. And the smart art, we can use it to create a place for inserting drawings. And the next one is media. By using this media, we can create a place for inserting audio or video files. And the last one is clip art. We can insert various clip art to our slide master by using this placeholder. So we can choose any one of these placeholder option for inserting to our slide master. So now I am selecting one of these. Okay. And let me select the pictures. After selecting the placeholder, we need to click and drag on the slide master to create a placeholder for the picture. Okay, here I am clicking and dragging. Now I have created a placeholder for inserting various pictures. Depends upon our need, we can insert different types of placeholder to our slide master. 
now suppose we need to insert a chart in our slide master we can insert the chart placeholder like that we can select various placeholders after that we can click on the close view button now let's discuss about changing the color scheme we can change the color of scheme of the theme in a slide master to apply that theme to the whole presentation for that first we need to click on the view tab then click on slide master after that we have to click on the themes drop down arrow to open a list of themes okay here we have opened the slide master and here you can see themes one arrow is there when we click on this arrow we can see lot of themes here we can choose any one of the theme for our slide master okay so these are the various themes available here now i am going to choose one of the themes from here and that theme will be applied to the whole presentation okay so after applying the theme in the right side of the theme we can see one option known as colors okay now we have selected this theme for our slide master and next to the theme are you able to see one option called the colors this colors option we can choose for changing the color scheme of our presentation now let's check how we can change the color scheme okay so we have already applied the theme and i am going to click on the drop down arrow near to the colors okay when we click on the colors option we can see one drop down list is appeared with lot of color combinations we can move the mouse pointer over the various color schemes in the list to see its effect on the slide whenever we are moving the mouse over each of this option the changes we can see on the slide so after selecting the scheme we can click and select the color scheme from here the new color theme will be applied to all slides of the presentation now you can see once i have changed the scheme that is applied to every slides in the slide master this is how we can apply scheme to our theme and also it is possible to change the font style in our slide okay so after applying the theme we can change the scheme scheme means the color combination for the theme and also the font style of the slide now let's discuss how we can change the background color for each of the slides in a presentation it is possible to change the background color also in addition with the theme so for changing the background color for a slide we have to click on the design tab first okay so first we need to close the slide view button after that we have to click on the design tab when we click on the design tab we can see lot of themes are here so by using the slide master and also without using the slide master we can apply theme to our slides and in the right corner we can see one option called background styles when we click on the arrow near to background styles various background options will be available here okay when we move our mouse over these options we can see the changes in the slide and one more option is there called format background when we click on the format background one format background dialog box will appear with lot of options now let's check what are the different options available here the first option is called fill the fill option we can use for filling the background with a solid color our next option is gradient fill the gradient fill we can use for getting the combination of two or more colors and also by using the type drop down arrow we can open a list of types of shades so we can change the types of shades and also we can change the direction arrow of the options okay so this is the second one and the third one is picture or texture fill this also can be used for changing the background color of our slide okay so various options are there like texture the color combinations we can insert various clip art like that and it is also possible to change the pattern fill different patterns are available here so we can change the pattern also so these four are the different background styles available in the format background dialog box so we can select the solid color which means a single color then we can select the patterns gradients and also picture or texture fill after selecting the background style 
so here these are the various background style so we can choose any one of the style after that we can click on the option known as apply to all then only that background style will be applied to all the slides in a presentation after clicking on the apply to all we can click on the option known as close okay so this is how we can apply the background color or the background styles to different slides of a presentation so today first we have studied about the slide master how to insert a slide master by using the view tab in a presentation after that we have studied how to create a new custom layout for our presentation then how to change the color schemes and background for our presentation 